That way we're not going in and spending ridiculous amount of money because that's usually what happens when we go shopping. Oh, we just need this one random thing, 20 pounds later and no actual food. Won't let this moment pass us by. Good morning guys, it's Thursday, it means it's nearly-ish kind of the weekend. Uh, excuse the fact that I am dressed in yesterday's clothes, t-shirt and stuff. I'll get changed as soon as I get a chance. Jen ran into the bedroom about two minutes before she should be leaving and said, I've not put my makeup on yet. She'd just forgotten and it just popped into her head that she hadn't. Uh, I was in bed, half asleep. When she said that, I think, oh crap, you're going to be late. So I panicked inside, my heart started pounding. And I just jumped out of bed and said, I'll, I'll take you into work. Because if I drive around, it, it's about a five minute round trip max. Whereas it takes a 10 or 15 minutes to actually walk from here. So I thought, I'll be good. So I threw some clothes on and I drove her to work. But as I was doing it, I was thinking, shit, I'm expecting a package today. I don't want to be taking her to work. And in the five minutes that it takes me, the package guy to have come and gone, oh, you're not in, left me a card saying we've missed you. Now you might be sat there thinking, what are the chances that at about nine o'clock in the morning, you're going to go out for five minutes and then the guy is going to have been and gone? You know, that's just not going to happen. But it has. The last time that I was waiting for a package and Jen came in because she was running a little late and I panicked and got up and took her to work. Last time those two things happened at the same time, missed delivery. Seriously, it was ridiculous. Rush, rushed home, ran in the house. Luckily, they've not missed me. Now, I've got to sit in the house from now until six o'clock for a delivery. I don't know when it's gonna be. Uh, I've got stuff to do. Oh, and Jen dropped the bombshell. She said that she's not free for lunch even though we do we do Thursdays sometimes we often kind of almost sometimes most of the time do Thursdays at lunch but she said that she's busy that's sad but it's alright because I'm waiting for a package that might not even be here by lunchtime so it's kind of a good thing the trick of using one of these contraptions to make your coffee is to put boiling water from the kettle in the chamber and the coffee, make sure it's quite a coarse grind to help the water penetrate through. Also level the coffee, just don't pack it right down. I can see some of you sat there thinking, but Chris, why do you need to boil the water in the kettle before you put it in the mocha pot, which you're just gonna put on the stove to boil? Tick tock, I know. It seems ridiculous, but it's not all ridiculous. By boiling, the, by boiling the water first, you end up with being able to actually brew the coffee an awful lot quicker in the mocha pot. If you don't, what happens is a lot of the energy from the, the burner or whatever you put it on goes into the, um, the metal for a lot longer and that ends up burning the coffee. You don't want to burn your coffee. You know, the coffee grounds. So, the longer, the, the less time you have it on the stove and the less time the coffee is exposed to the heat, the better. And this pretty much, you, once you put it back on the stove, it's like less than two minutes and it's all, all through, come through. It's brilliant. Almost flawless and an amazing cup of coffee. Oh, that smells fantastic. Jen's inexplicably late home from work. Again, I don't know what's going on, um, but we can finally get going to the gym before dinner this time. I was hoping to be back by now because I'm starving, but alas, that's not going to happen. So off to the gym and get some exercise done. We managed about half an hour in the gym, which is the most I've done in a long time. I did some cycling. It was probably the easiest way to get my heart rate up. What did you do? I did 10 minutes of rowing and 10 minutes of cycling and some weights. Cycling? Awesome. No, not cycling. Elliptical. Elliptical. I can't, your weights. I can't remember. I'm too tired. I'm too tired. It's time for dinner, but we don't have any. No, we do have meat in, but because we bought it from online shopping, and the meat they sent us had quite a short date, I put half of it in the freezer. The problem is I forgot to take it out the freezer yesterday, so it was nice and defrosted for us to have dinner. Just stupid of me. 
Sounds stupid. Stupid of online shopping sending us short dated meat. What stupid. the Stupid. We need to go and get something from the shop, but we are just getting meat. Yes. Just meat. Just meat. That way we're not going in and spending a ridiculous amount of money because that's usually what happens when we go shopping. Oh, we just need this one random thing. 20 pounds later and no actual food. Are you guys the same? Do you go in for one thing and come out with 10? Well, we failed in our quest to only go into the shop and pick up meat. Here's the meat. Meat. And we got this. Jen insisted we needed them. But we've already got some. And I said to her before she went in, I'm sure we have some. And she was like, yeah, yeah, but I like to have two in the house. Why? Why do you like to have two in the house? Hmm? So that we're more likely to clean the bathroom. You wouldn't let me have two ice creams in the house yesterday, would you? No. No. Different to ice cream. Oh, oh, different. Rules different between me and her by the looks of it. If I want two ice creams in the house, no. She wants two packs of cleany wipes, yes. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? It's my money, I can do what I want with it. Oh! I'm out for a walk with the dog. Here he is. Say hi, Shep. Shep, say hi. Nope, he's not saying hi. Jen's not here. No, Jen. She's back at home tidying up. No! She's back at home tidying up. Um, we've got Jen's parents coming down tomorrow. Um, and because we've been tidy, yeah, we've been tidy, because we've been sort of like clearing stuff up and trying to decorate and stuff, the house is a little worse for wear in certain places. So she's gonna get that little tidy up while I take Sheppy for a walk. And we're gonna have fun even though it is cold. It's a lovely night though, it's really clear. Not a cloud in the sky. But it does mean that this time of year doesn't retain much heat. And it is freezing. I should have put gloves and a scarf on. I didn't think it was gonna be this cold. Oh, should have seen how excited he was before he came out. I was like, Shep, do you wanna go for a walk? And he was like, oh, yeah, I wanna go for a walk. Come on. That was kind of, that was kind of his response. Obviously he, he didn't say anything. He's a dog, he can't vocalize things. But imagine that's what he would have said if he could speak. Oh, it's cold. I gotta be away from it. I can't wait until it gets to summer. Another month and the nights will be glorious. There'll probably be a good temperature where you can still go outside with a shorts and t-shirt. I just can't wait. Instead, I was wrapped up in a coat and I was still cold. That's not good. It's April. Oh no, April's supposed to be quite cold. Roll on May and June. It's late. Um, but I'm gonna chill with a cup of tea. I have a chai tea. Chai. It smells great. Um, that's got about three seconds left on the brew. 10 seconds, close. Uh, I'm gonna drink that and I'm gonna watch a new program that's coming on, Colony. has got Sawyer from Lost in it. If you guys have seen it, let me know how you find it, but no spoilers. Um, it's episode one. I'm gonna watch that, so I will end the vlog about here. Um, but before I go, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone that's been commenting recently. It's been fantastic to see. It's uh, it's really nice to be part of a community. When people are interacting, it's great. Um, in terms of, oh, hang on. Battery flashing, I need to change you over. Hold that thought. A spare battery was probably the best thing I could have bought for this camera. Jen's parents are coming tomorrow. Don't think we're gonna be able to vlog around them. Uh, and they're gonna be around on Saturday. So I think the best thing might be if we don't get a chance to do any vlogging with them, we will probably do our Q&A then. So you've probably got until, I don't know, let's say about between 12 and four, we'll say you'll, you'll have until about four o'clock p.m. GMT this coming Saturday um, to get your Q&As in. Everything that's before it will try and get answered doesn't seem like there's gonna to be too many unless we get a barrage of them now. And um, everything after, I can't guarantee you'll make it depending on exactly when we do the vlog. But if you do put a Q&A down and we, go get, we don't get a chance to answering it this time because maybe you're a bit late or something, we will make sure we put it to one side, particularly if we haven't answered it, um, for the next lot. Because I'm sure we'll do another Q&A in the future. Well, I'm sure we'll do another Q&A in the future. Um, so yeah, this is your last chance to get your questions in and loads of you got your questions in now I'm really happy and thank you very much to everyone that's bothered and if you haven't you've not got long left if you want to ask anything um, 
but I'm not pestering you, you've got quite a few now, so if you don't, well, I would like you to, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world. It's not like we've got like two questions on our question and answer anymore. That'd have been bad. Let's do a question and answer. One question later, done. Now, we've got more than that. So, Saturday, we'll try and do that, which means on Sunday, it will do Q&A if we get it done Saturday. It should be up. Look forward to that. But it means that we probably wouldn't do any regular vlogging on that day. So, is that all right? Do you mind? It'll kind of, maybe, maybe we'll do a mixture. Maybe we'll do a half regular vlog, half q and I don't really know yet. It's our first one. We'll have to see. Anyway, enough from me. Good night, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. And excuse the fact that I'm wearing the same t-shirt. It's my gym, my gym t-shirt, and it's just easy to put on when I go to the gym and not take off when I get back because I'm a lazy sod. Good night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. It's cheat day, Wednesday, so we're gonna go and get some ice cream from the shop. Are you having ice cream? I want cream eggs. Okay, I'm having ice cream, Jen's having cream eggs. Until we get to the shop and I see the ice cream and then I want ice cream. <laughs>